probability distribution table. This probability distribution table can be in vertical line or it can be in horizontal. So as you see on the bottom, it can be in horizontal or it can be in vertical. So if it is a vertical, all we do, we just find the mean from this probability distribution table by multiplying their correspondence values. So for example, x is a discrete random variable. So zero times that is going to be what? Okay. Or if you remember one formula, well, formula to find the mean, that's the formula to find the mean. Mean is equal to sum of x times probability of x. What does it mean? It means you multiply all of this. You multiply all of this, you get all these values and you add at the end. So let's go. Let's figure it out how we do this. So x times the probability of x and we are going to actually multiply them. So for example, this one we're going to multiply and if this multiply is going to give us zero times anything is zero. And the next one, we're going to multiply this two and that would give us one time anything is same as that. So find 073. And next one, we're going to multiply this one here. And two times, two times 0.218, it should give you 0.436. And next one is should give us 0.294. Three times that. Four times 0.211, it should give us 0.844. And the next one should give us five times 0.254, it should give us 1.270. So we just get all this product as you see now this summation means you add all so we're going to add all of this once we add all of this with any simple calculator we get approximately 2.917 so what is that is basically sum of the probability of x times Random variable x times the probability of x. That's basically the mean. That's how we find the mean. And we just added all this together to get this piece here. That's the mean. And that is referring to the mean. Okay, so if we have something like horizontal or in a row, we do the same way. We basically do the same way we multiply these two multiply 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 at the end we add and that should be our answer so that is how we do it actually as you clearly see 0.844 and you add all of this 1.270 and all of this basically is going to give the same as 2.917 so it doesn't matter is given as a vertical or horizontal you basically if you do do it horizontal oil it takes less space if you do vertical oil it's the same thing basically okay